Hey everyone, I'm Allie from allisonspokes.ca. I am a fantasy artist and tarot reader bringing you a little enchantment through art and tarot. So normally this time of month, I usually have a spotlight feature that I highlight on my website and on my social media. Um, I pick a little, um, I don't know, a type of tarot reading that goes with kind of the theme of the season. And I explain a little bit about that, um, offer it um, at a, a deal and give you a little demonstration. So this video would normally be a video demonstration of the reading that I would be spotlighting that month. But this month, April, I decided to do something just a little bit different and outside the box. So instead of a reading where we shuffle the cards and we draw some cards, um, this time the cards are carefully selected or actually pre pre selected, predetermined. So this is what I mean. This is what I'm offering. The month of April, my spotlight feature is a tarot chart, personalized tarot chart based on your date of birth and your birth name. So I take this data from your name and your birthday, and I look a little bit at your astrology chart and a little bit at your numerology chart, and I translate that data into tarot cards. Now tarot cards have a association with numbers and astrology, so it's really easy to translate. So just like if you were to go to any astrologist, your chart would look exactly the same. If you were to go to any numerologist, your chart would be exactly the same. And so same with this tarot chart, anyone who knows the associations would give you the same cards and the same answer. So how are these cards, just like numbers and stars and constellations, how are those playing out in your life? How are, have those affected your journey here on this planet? Um, what kind of obstacles are you repeatedly encountering? Um, what are your skills? What comes to you naturally? What do you struggle with? Um, all those things are explained in your tarot chart. So I'm just going to show you this one I did. This is my tarot chart. So um, I've got the little astrology wheel over here. And so from astrology, I've only picked two cards. So there's two cards associated with your astrology. And then I have birthday and your name. And so these are based on numerology. We look at your date of birth and your name at birth. And from there, we get three cards from your birthday and three cards from your name. And so I do, that is data that I do require. If you're interested in finding out what your tarot chart has to say about you and how, if you've already had another chart, like an astrology chart or a numerology chart, this just enhances and adds a little bit extra to what you already know. Um, some missing pieces, perhaps. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, yeah, so the data that I do require, I do require your full name at birth, and your date of birth in order to calculate your chart and figure out um, what kind of tarot influences um, are happening throughout your life. So I'll just go a little bit over um, my chart and some insights that I had from doing my own chart. Um, okay, so I have the Hierophant as my soul and my life path mixed with um, the Zodiac Lesson of the Five of Swords and Destiny. Uh, my Destiny card is Justice, uh, which is all very interesting because all these cards, including the Hermit here and, um, and Judgment. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so I am a very studious information-based person. I like to soak in as much as I can um, all the time. And so the Hierophant is telling me that as a younger person, I am a student for life. 
and I started young and I like to just soak up information. Um, but later in life, um, as my life path and my soul, the higher been telling me that as I get on in, in years, I am kind of destined to be more of a teacher to actually share the information that I've acquired with others. Once I find my niche, then I'm going to find this desire and this drive to pass that on to other people, which is I found really interesting because now I'm in my mid thirties. And for the first time, I'm actually starting to, to feel that calling that I need to start sharing information. So that was interesting. And, um, my personality, my personality is judgment. Like I feel my sisters kind of saying, oh yeah, you think? Yeah, a little bit. I'm a little bit judgy. A little bit judgy, very opinionated because I collect a lot of information and um, yeah, not a lot of water or compassion cards here. Even my sun sign card, which is the star, the water bearer card um, tells me that I kind of favor the the um, good of all over the good for one. So um, yeah, what else was I gonna say about this card? Oh yeah, um, another funny thing I found from my personal chart was that uh, I tend to in uh, my younger years I tend to. Well, even today, I think I still, I don't like authority. <laughs> even though I um, admire my teachers and the information and wisdom that they have and that I can acquire from them, I tend to be, I tend to question everything. And I don't necessarily get along very well with authority. So that was funny. Because um, at the same time, with the Hierophant and with Justice here, I'm a stickler for the rules. <laughs> so someone could tell me, um, this is how I want things done. These are the rules. And I'll be like, why? Why? How about this? What about this scenario? What about this case? What would, I, what would you do? How would that apply in this case? Is that an exception? Is there a new rule for that? And I will ask a billion questions um, before I feel like I have a solid understanding of why that rule is in place. So I question authority. I question everything. Um, that's probably why I am transitioning to being my own boss. I'm sure if my mom is watching this or if my supervisors are watching this, they're probably laughing because they know how rigid I can be about rules. And yet at the same time, I don't like being told what to do. So that all came up in my chart, which I kind of laughed. I thought that was really funny. And so over here, as my heart's desire, um, so someone or something that I really want to be like was the hermit, actually. And so that um, um, means that I'm a bit introverted, that I like being alone in my studies, <laughs> just um, soaking up whatever I'm passionate is about at the time, learning everything that I can, um, acquiring wisdom, being alone without a lot of voices and distractions. And even when I'm around a lot of people, I tend to um, hang back, watch and observe, watch how people interact with each other um, before I will start being really talkative um, and participating in conversations. I like to watch what other people do and get a sense of their personalities and um, and even what they're doing. If they're doing something I've never done before, then I am not the one to jump in and, oh, let me try. I'm like, hmm, let's just see how everybody else fares first. Let's just see how the mechanics work here. Let's just see um, if people get frustrated or hurt or if they're having lots of fun. I will watch first and then play later. So that, I found this chart kind of really interesting and I, I was laughing a lot as I was creating it because I thought oh yeah it's very there's a lot of accurate coincidences in here so um anyway that is my uh my offer this April is a personalized 
tarot chart. So if you are interested in purchasing a chart for me, you can do that from my website. I will have a button there. You can um, just go online and click purchase. There's not really any need to come see me in person for this because we're not drawing cards. Like this is a chart that I need time to um, create for you, compare the cards, figure out how they work together and analyze that. Um, now you could meet with me in person after I've completed your chart to just kind of go over some things. If you had questions, um, I'd be happy to do that, but there's not really any need um, to be doing this in person and watching me um, write this up. Like you're gonna wanna keep a chart. So allow me the time to make the chart. I do require your full name at birth and date of birth. Now, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but with your name, now, the rule of thumb is name at birth. So if you are married, even if you've been married a long time and you've taken um, your partner's name, um, I still want your, your name at birth because you still relate to that name. You still have a connection. There's a, there's a connection that's still on your birth certificate. It is still a name that you identify with. Um, now, if you are in a different situation where there's been a name change like um, maybe you were adopted shortly after birth and your birth name, um, you had a birth name, but your adopted parents renamed you and that birth name has never been a part of your life, then that is completely fine. We'll go with the name that you identify with. Same with for any other reason that you've abandoned your birth name, um, especially if you either have changed your birth certificate or you want to change your birth certificate, you just haven't got to it yet, then um, that's fine. We can look at the full name you identify with um, today. That's totally okay. But rule of thumb is birth name and date of birth. And th that's the data that I require to complete the chart. Um, I, like I said, if you want the chart, I will post the link um, where you can purchase that from my website. Now, if you're like me, and you have a bit of that hermit inside you where you like to test things out, watch and observe. Um, you like to deliberate on things a little bit longer before you take the plunge. Um, I am offering, you can get a little sample. You can get one card from your chart for free. No strings attached, no obligations. All you have to do is um, send me your email address and your date of birth that's the one that i'll be using so i will have a link um posted below or above um whichever platform you are watching this video on i'll have a link nearby where you can click and get that free one card reading um so yeah click the links and i look forward to doing many charts for all of you now um if you do click the free one um, or the, um, if you want the full shebang, you're ready. Let's look it all over. Um, I'm gonna need a few days. This isn't gonna land in your inbox the moment you sign up. Um, I need a few days to kind of do some analysis and look things over, but you will get it um, within a reasonable amount of time. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I think I covered everything I needed to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to doing your chart and I will see you around the interwebs. Take care.